citizens of the United States. We are anonymous. There is a new bill that the United States government has successfully passed. It is called the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, for short. Also known as the Protect IP Act of 2011. The U.S. Congressional Budget Office estimates that implementation of the bill would cost the federal government $47 million through 2016. It will cost you, the taxpayers, $47 million over the next four years. The SOPA Act will censor you from accessing certain websites and block all access to other areas of the Internet that the United States government does not want you to access. The SOPA Act essentially means that even if you make a video of your child playing or singing and you have music playing in the background or video on TV, you are breaking the law and the government will order the websites that host your content to censor your content because of their new bill. Or, if you visit websites that are on servers not in the United States you will be blocked so that you cannot access them. Ask yourselves, who really owns the Internet? The answer is simple, no one actually owns the Internet, and no single person, organization or government controls the Internet in its entirety. It is more of a concept than an actual tangible entity, and the Internet relies on a physical infrastructure that connects networks to other networks. There are many organizations, corporations, governments, schools, private citizens and service providers that all own pieces of the infrastructure that make up the Internet, but there is no one entity that owns it all. How can the U.S. government decide to block access to parts of the Internet that the U.S. government does not even own? The SOPA Act is a direct violation to people's right to freedom of knowledge and information, and for that violation the United States government is a disgrace to the land of the free, the free that every United States soldier has fought or died for. The United States government is essentially telling the people of the United States that they are free to do, as the government tells them. If people do not follow their rules they will arrest them for making an attempt to learn. But the government will tell the media that these people are getting arrested for acts of treason, domestic terrorism, or internet piracy. As for the United States government, who gave you the right to regulate the people's right to think outside the box and use the internet, as they see fit? If we cut off global internet, shouldn't we also cut off all foreign affairs? Should we hinder globalization completely? Perhaps all other world trade centers are acts of terrorism by existing, as they use the internet for commerce. The ambiguity of this bill should terrify you. This video likely will not last long on Yahoo. As long as you can, download Yahoo Downloader.